Hi, welcome to another video. I'm going to combine two factors into this video. It's raining, so we're doing a rain drive, and I'm also heading into Hawkinge because of all the different roundabouts that we've got there. I was out with daughter-in-law yesterday, uh, daughter-in-law, granddaughter yesterday. Um, we did a photo shoot, and she's got her driving test coming up. And she said, the thing that bothers me, Grandpa, is when I'm at a roundabout and there's a car coming round and I don't know if they're going straight on or if they're coming round or if they're going left because they don't indicate. <laughs> so I'm going to do probably three or four of the roundabouts at Hawkinge and just see, you know, we know the rules. Somebody asked me a comment recently. Can you do a video about people not using indicators on the roundabouts and I can't really do a dedicated video on that because I highlight it every time I'm at a roundabout so yeah the principle still applies doesn't it if you're using a roundabout you must indicate off that's the priority so if you're going around the first exit you indicate off if you're going straight across you only indicate when you're going off unless you're going the third exit which means you're indicating right so um yeah it's raining just a, a sh another short video really but we'll we'll make use of the roundabouts so we've got a blind vent here often tractors crawling slowly up the hill with no headlights in the rain. Yeah, if the weather is bleak, to say the least, then the use of lights is part of the highway code. And I'm not even sure, because you've got the van here with its side lights. Yes, the lights are on, but it does make it hard to see the oncoming vehicle. The little white car in front of me is obviously using running lights, because the rear lights aren't on. wipers on full because the intermittent isn't clearing it quick enough I guess I just find it upsetting or sad that people are not engaging brain when they drive Yes, you can criticise me in the comments, but I know I'm right. You know, just because you drive a car doesn't mean that you should neglect the core and essential priorities, such as lights in the rain, such as indicators on the roundabout. You know, you're not on a go-kart race or go-kart track where the only objective is to steer and go forward. 
we've got high hazards on the Land Rover for some reason. I think what I'll do is just go around some of the roundabouts, do a little circuit of the Hawkins area, just for roundabout etiquette, roundabout observations. Volume of traffic dictates the speed. So we're doing 28. It's actually good though because I might count how many cars don't indicate on the roundabout and then we'll do a global raspberry or a global trophy. <laughs> Welcome to English summer, people. This is the reason they call it the green and pleasant land. We get plenty of aqua. Mobile home up ahead. No indicators that I can see. It's going all the way around. No indicators and lights. The seer indicated. Hey, just the mobile home didn't indicate. Everyone else indicated. Exciting times. First roundabout then. Indicate off. Nobody indicated off. Interesting to see. Into a 40 zone. Although I think we've been in a 40 zone since we entered Densel. I'm going to do two roundabouts where I go all the way round, then I'm going to do some right turning and left turning. So none of these cars are indicating, so I assume they're all going straight ahead. Camper van didn't indicate off, see it didn't indicate off, Volkswagen didn't indicate off, and the Honda is not indicating off. Four raspberries. counting the cars without headlights as well. There's another one. We shared the roads with these people. I might have to give up the drive with care. <laughs> it just winds me up too much. Another car with no headlights. I'm going all the way round. I'm going to come back on myself at this roundabout. Indicate all the way around and then indicate off. Two cars to my right. All the way around. And then indicate off. I'm losing my towel. I hope that the um windscreen doesn't reflect too much for you. Red light. We'll go left at this roundabout into Hawkinge because there's a couple of mini roundabouts Hawkins, come back out by little. Yeah, just a couple of roundabout journeys. Nothing to my right. 
into a 30 zone. I actually do have a sign telling us there's a roundabout ahead. I'm going left on this roundabout, so I shall indicate as I approach. And that helps the cars ahead of me, if there were any, to know what my intentions are. straight across this roundabout so I will indicate off no need to indicate on nothing to my right it's all very quiet And didn't indicate off. Car to my right. Will they indicate off the roundabout? Yes, they did. Top marks. Must be a seasoned driver. I'm going to go down. So I'm going right. That's cars that it did indicate. Yeah, it's indicating off. Did everything right. Astonishing. I should go congratulate them. <laughs> Coming off. I'll go all the way down the hill, round the whole roundabout, annoy all the drivers. Why is that guy going all the way round the roundabout? <laughs> and then come back up and conclude the video. National speed limit. Yeah, speed on. 55. I'll slow down in good time because of the slippery surface. See how easy it is to see the cars when they've got the headlights on. Reduce speed now. Right, two cars in front not indicating, but they will be going all the way around. Yeah, he's put his indicators on. The Audi's not indicating though. Oh, it did, at the last minute. <laughs> I'm sending out my put your indicators on vibe. All the way around, and then off again. See, the camper van knew what I was doing, because I was indicating, so he slowed down, rather than just go straight across. How long's this video now? 13 minutes? Combination of rain, roundabouts, headlights. Not a bad drive actually. We'll go left at this roundabout and left at the next roundabout, finish the video. Might even go out and do another dry, rainy day drive. What can I do? Into a 30 zone. Roundabout ahead, but we knew that, didn't we? Because we've been doing roundabouts. I'm going left, so I'll indicate left. Let me have a think about another location I can do in the rain that isn't all about roundabouts, but just to drive in the rain. There we go. A rainy day drive with roundabout etiquette. Um, yeah, please do keep indicating on your roundabouts. No one will think of you as, oh, what's that driver doing? He's a bit silly putting his indicators on because we're supposed to use them. I think, I might be wrong, but short of steering and car vehicle control, brakes and gears or automatic, if you're driving an automatic, indicators must be like the third major important factor. What do you think? How do they prioritise? 
observation, driving, indicators. Anyway, let's stop the rambling, and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now. Drive with care. Thank you.